November midterms. News Channel 3's Jennifer Franco live in studio tonight with a look at some of those key local elections coming up in, well, really just a matter of weeks now, a couple of months. Jennifer. That's right, John. So with 82 days to go before the November elections, we now know which candidates in municipal races made it onto the general ballot. So let's take a look at the races to watch in the West. In Desert Hot Springs, Councilmember Gary Gardner is running unopposed in District 1. In District 3, incumbent Councilmember Jan Pai is facing a challenge from former DHS Mayor Adam Sanchez. This will be the city's first time holding elections by district since the city was split up into four districts in April. Sanchez ran for council in 2018, but came in behind Pai by just 28 votes. And then in 2020, Sanchez challenged Mattis for mayor, but lost. In Palm Springs, there are three seats up for grabs on the council to represent District 1, 2, and 3. The council will have at least two new faces this fall. Incumbent Grace Gardner is facing a challenge from TV and radio personality Scott Nevins for the District 1 seat. In District 2, incumbent Dennis Woods did not submit the signatures necessary to make the ballot by the deadline. Now, businessman Jeffrey Bernstein and Renee Brown are vying for the seat. Bernstein says he plans to bring his business perspective to the council if he wins. Brown is a lifelong resident known for her involvement with the Historical Society. And in District 3, council member Jeff Kors will not be seeking re-election, which leaves Palm Springs Pride President Rhonda Hart and businesswoman Joy Meredith competing for the seat. In Cathedral City, three council seats are in play to represent Districts 3, 4, and 5. Mayor Ernesto Gutierrez, council member Mark Carnavale, and council member Ray Raymond Gregory are all seeking re-election. Rick Saldivar and David Coslow are challenging Gutierrez for the District 4 seat. Carnavale, who represents District 3, and Gregory, who represents District 5, are running unopposed. Treasurer Greg Jackson is also on the ballot. Now to Rancho Mirage, where Councilmember Steve Downs, who was appointed to fill a vacancy in late 2021, is competing against four others to fill three seats that are up for grabs. And of course, tune into News Channel 3 live at 6 tonight for a look at which candidates made it on the ballot over in the East Valley. And of course, you can find all of our election coverage anytime at KSQ.com. Live in studio, I'm Jennifer Franco.